Hello everybody and welcome back to the Jack FPS YouTube channel. Today I'm just doing a quick tutorial to help anyone who is making the move over to Trovo Live's streaming platform for the very first time. Or you may want to go from watching your chat in stream on your phone or mobile device and putting it into your OBS. Now this tutorial will work for both OBS and Streamlabs so please stay tuned whether you're using either one or the other. Now it's a very simple one so it's going to be a very quick easy and easy and simple to follow tutorial here so what you're going to do is i'm going to show you a quick example this is my obs studio screen obviously this is my little bot um, who greets all my viewers in we're not going to be talking about that today i'm leaving it as a blank screen so there's not too many details on the screen to distract you what we are looking at is the chat here now you can see this is my trovo chat from the last week you can see everyone been chatting in it recently over the last 24 hours or so and since my last stream you can see that people have been tuning into my channel to see if i'm live or not so everything is there from follows to gifts to subs to chatters and it's got the bots all appearing and everything and it welcomes everyone for you as well so you know every single thing 100 percent what's going on during your streams without having to keep tabbing in or out or checking a smaller screen like a tablet or a mobile now to do this I'm going to get rid of this and show you how you can just get it like that. Now, it will be all up here. Obviously, it's there for me. We will be starting all over again for you guys. So what you do is you go over to your internet browser. I use Opera uh, just because it's faster for me personally. Some people uh, will prefer Google Chrome. And here is your usual Trovo Live browser. Obviously, it's saying I'm offline at the moment because I'm not actually streaming right now, um, believe it or not. Uh, you go down here and you'll see the magic chat group settings alerts filter click on group settings and then you get with this menu you go on pop out chat it'll bring this bar here so your chat is now popped out I can take that onto any monitor I have at my desktop connected to the tower now what you want is this URL here so you want to click and now you can't right click in here so you have to do control C for copy you can minimize or leave that there I like to just minimize it and we'll go back over to OBS studio now what you want to do is you'll have all these bars up here you want to go over to view docs custom browser docs and obviously mine's already here because I use it but let's delete it you'll appear with an empty box or if you've got other docs which are custom you'll have them all here what you want to do is you want to click on this one so you can see the type bar here you can literally type in it all you want you want to control v for paste that gives you your chat pop out or should i say it's in the other box so put the url in that one where it says url believe it or not don't know how i missed that one it'll keep it in there and you can just name it whatever you want so in this case trovo chat you can name it what you want click on apply there you go it's there it pops out for you but drag it to the edge of the screen to that blue box or if you want it on this side you do that side obviously I've got two monitors so it's kind of a bit awkward to have it on that side because it goes into the other screen there you go and that's all your chat right there that is how you do that now it's all applied you can close that and no matter how many times you open it let's close OBS for you and then open it all again and as long as you are logged into that account still your chat is there and it's obviously welcoming my bot in for you that is how simple quick and easy it is uh, I know it's a very strange jump if you are making a jump to a smaller streaming platform which is not twitch or YouTube because they are both very easy to uh, this is the same with a lot of the smaller platforms you'll find this out there uh, that these platforms these softwares like OBS and Streamlabs don't actually mm, like they don't really majorly support this directly you can't just log in and it will be there automatically you have to do it yourself and it can be confusing but it really is as simple as that obviously if you want any more tutorials in the future this is one what people have come to me personally and asked me how to do and because I'm having to answer it so much I thought let's just put a tutorial out there I love doing tutorials I like helping people out so if you've enjoyed this tutorial or this tutorial helped you guys leave a thumbs up let me know in the comments below what else you would like help doing whether it is trovo or something else and i will do my very best 
to deliver that for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. And that is everything tonight. Have a good night.